I think we always tend to forget that children learn by play. And this is what people are doing. They're learning new things by playing. The fun is one of the things that really drives innovation. The maker movement in hackerspace is a very interesting international and national uh, movements where groups come together, uh, collaborative groups come together, and volunteers come together to develop new ideas and implement new technologies. The mission of Twin Cities Maker is to make, share, and learn. We're a community group that's dedicated to the idea that sharing what you are making both lets you learn more and it lets other people learn how to do what you're doing so that everybody gains more by it. And so the idea of open source software, open source information, engineering drawings, that kind of thing, allows people to put their own spin on it and also to share you know, a better way of doing things with others. And in some ways this is similar to what was happening in the uh, computer revolution in the 70s. Just because it was cool, it was interesting, they wanted to learn something. Uh, mouse traps, slingshot thing. And then what, the computer industry was sort of born from that kind of ferment. I mean, I am glad that a place like this exists. I don't know, I'm a big open source guy in my day job. I'm a professional software developer, and okay. I think open source is changing the world. And I think that some of what you get here perhaps flows from that save movement. You stand on the shoulders of others. You build on others. That's the whole beauty of open source. One of the ways innovation is driven is that if there is a common pool of technology, if people can get access to it, uh, they can build new things, innovative things on it. So I think this is probably a very economical way of driving innovation. And like all innovation, it needs to come from inside.